Hello YouTubers, and today we're going to look at some lightsabers I made. Now, they're not the best of quality, I know you guys have been hungering for these lightsabers for a long time. Like three months, ever since I told you guys that I was going to make lightsabers. And um, during those, these three, those three months, a lot was taking place. We were trying to get all the, I was trying to get all the materials, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't easy. Some of the materials I got were, were just surplus from uh, my supplier, which is my grandfather, who supplies me with, with hardware and stuff to build lightsabers. They're not the best quality, but they sure can take a good beating. This one... It's like a star killer Darth is is like a star killer style lightsaber from the Force Unleashed franchise. And um it's got a slightly curved got a curved PVC pipe blade and a cardboard hilt with some wooden spikes. The spikes are for aesthetics, but hmm they could be for other things. Now the reason why the PVC pipe is curved is because my supplier didn't have any uh, one inch um, straight PVC pipe so I had to do do with what I got with what I was given and of course it has red duct tape not smooth but then again it has that Kylo Ren effect to it that like a broken lightsaber blade over here this is by the way, this is my um, cousin's lightsaber that I made for him. This one is mine. This is like a Rom Kota inspired lightsaber. It looks more of like a samurai sword with a blue blade than a lightsaber. But then again, my supplier had only curved PVC pipe. This blade was supposed to be green, but then again, um, we were searching all around Mobley trying to find some green duct tape, some vibrant green duct tape, and we couldn't find any, so we had to settle for blue. And I think Starkiller in the first Force Unleashed series, um, uh, swapped, um, Rom Kota's green crystal to, you know, add a blue crystal to it when he was undergoing his Jedi training, so... I like this one. It has like the leather aesthetic. Although this is not actually leather. This is just random cloth that I found lying around the house. And it's got these like samurai sword style accents. As you can see right here. I had a hard time, you know, getting these accents right. These like grips right. But overall, I got none. Last but not least, my brother Gavin's. The one thing that sticks out from the rest of these, that makes this one stick out from the rest of the lightsabers, is that it has a wooden blade. A straight wooden blade. Which makes it even more strong than the PVC blades. And it's got this like inquisitor style guard. I put spikes on uh I put some I put like three spikes on this, but my brother Gavin had to take them off because he didn't like it. I anyway I wanna give it like a Darth Revan style I wanna give it like a Darth Revan feel to it. And um uh, that's basically that's basically it a lot has happened in three months I have you know ceased all the conspiracy theory videos until until next week week and uh, yeah we will I will be starting episode 3 very 
like in next week. I'll be starting episode three for in the conspiracy theory series um, next week. But anyway, if you haven't already tuned in to the conspiracy theory series, you might as well do so, because um, it has some good knowledge there for you. If you want to know about America, about the world's untold history. The secret history, not the Disney history that you've been, you know, provided and shoved down your throats for most of your lifetimes. Then go right ahead. Um, I have um something to show you guys. If you could just hold right there. I have a new drinking horn. This is a lot better than this one, which is falling apart and it's now going to be like a antique of sorts but anyway this is my new drinking horn it is drinkable meaning I can drink out of this and nothing will fall apart it's made out of horn which is just a plus and it's got this leather belt thing so that so uh, when you do your when you do your traveling and stuff you can hook this on your belt and then take it out put it back in very nice. A lot nicer than this. Walmart piece of junk. A lot nicer. And this is basically going to be like an antique. Anyway, this is my new drinking horn. Needs washed though. So, um, Almost forgot one thing. I gotta get something show you guys. I have upgraded the Nerf gun. The, um, the whole DIY Nerf gun. That was a made, that's a major, that was a major breakthrough in Nerf. But anyway, this is the improvement on it. It's got a wooden stock, better than the cardboard stock, and like a metal, and a metal barrel. With this, um, smaller barrel extension to to, you know, allow Nerf darts to go in there. It works the same as the original. And, um, it works perfectly. There is no questioning power of this thing. So, that's it for today. I know you guys miss me after that, um, I don't know, week-long, two-week-long hiatus. But, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, uh, yeah. And for you Viking fans out there, skull. Bye, guys. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. If you want, if you want more video ideas, well, you can always find, you can always, you know, find me on email. You can look that. You can always look down on in the description. You will see my email address. And if you really want to suggest new content, please go to that email address down in the description. Thank you guys for watching and see y'all later.